No one has previously dived to 1,000 meters in Antarctica. It is exciting, it is thrilling, and yet it's also slightly terrifying. My dad used to get National Geographic magazine, and occasionally they published these amazing maps of the floor of the ocean. And I always imagined what would it be like to visit these places and see what lives there. Control the uh, my depth one eight meters. Over. Roger, have a good dive. More than half our world is covered by water. It's the majority of our world, and yet it seems so alien to us. The deep ocean around Antarctica is just as blank to us now as it was 100 years ago. So on this expedition, we're heading into the unknown with the goal of understanding more about our world, because we don't yet know what we don't yet know. Oh, we're really seeing some krill now. So, yeah, they're starting to come in. Science is the adventure of exploring the astonishing world around us. So I think that I was born a scientist because I think we all are. Control, control, deep rover. My depth is 1,000 meters on bottom. Over. It's incredibly rich marine life we're seeing here. I mean, it's a sort of a living carpet. But just on one rock, I counted more than a dozen species just by art. We can't explore the deep ocean remotely, or we certainly can't find out what lives there without actually going there ourselves. And we're the first to do that here. Filter feeding animals all around. Sometimes scientific adventures can be physical, literally immersing us in the unknown. And it's all out there waiting for us to explore it. Every expedition is almost another pinprick on that blank map. And every point we add to it is taking us towards learning more about our world. You kind of get a sense that you're glimpsing something that we're a part of, but is far bigger than us. And that's quite a moment when that happens. If you reach into the unknown, you are going to come back with something that you didn't have before.